Isang magandang araw na naman sa ating lahat and for today's video lesson, we will talk about joint variation. At the end of this video lesson, you will be able to illustrate situations that involves joint variation, translate into variation statement in relationship involving joint variation between two quantities given by a mathematical equation and vice versa, and solve problems involving joint variation. Kapag pinag-uusapan natin ng joint variation, so ito yung statement na makikita natin or ito yung pwede natin maging clue para malaman or ma-identify kung yung isang given na problem is all about joint variation. So ito yan. A varies jointly as B and C. So kapag ito yung statement natin, ang mabubuo natin formula is A is equal to K times B times C. So A varies jointly as B and C. Or K is equal to A over B, C kapag K yung hinahanap natin. Pero usually, ito yung ginagamit natin ng formula para hindi na mag-memorize pa ng isa pa na formula. Mag-derive na lang tayo. Where K is the constant of variation. So we have example number one. Z varies jointly as X and Y. So ito na yan. Varies jointly. If Z is equal to 16, when X is equal to 4, and Y is equal to 6, Find the constant of variation and the equation. So, yung statement natin is, ito yan, Z varies jointly as X and Y. So, kung magbubuo natin formula is, Z is equal to K times X times Y. So, Z varies jointly as X and Y. Next step is, we will use the given, or yung mga given natin, and then using substitution doon sa ating nakuhang formula. So, Z is equal to K times X times Y. So, Z is 16, given, and then, Bring down k and then x is 4 and then y is 6. Next is 4 times 6 is 24 times k is 24k. Bring down 16 and then para makancel yung kasama ni k or yung numerical coefficient ni k is we will divide both sides kung ano yung value niya which is 24. So divide both sides by 24 and then yung ating nakuwang answer is 2 over 3. Yung lowest term ng 16 over 24 is 2 over 3. Divide both sides by 8. Ang makuha natin is 2 thirds. So, K is equal to 2 over 3. So, therefore, the constant of variation is equal to 2 thirds. Ito yan. And then, the equation of the variation is, ito yung ating original formula, and then, yung nakuha natin na K is, substitute na natin, Z is equal to 2 thirds X, Y. So, ito yung ating equation of the variation. Example number 2, Z varies jointly as X and Y. So, same time ng given, or same time ng variables. If Z is equal to 3, when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 15, find z when x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 9. So, based sa ating nakuha or based sa ating given na statement is z varies jointly as x and y. So, ito yung magiging formula natin. Ang hinahanap natin dito is si z. So, first step is, ang gagawin natin, hanapin muna natin si k. And then, gagamitin natin si k doon sa mga pangalawang given natin. So, we have yung una, z, x, and y natin is, ito sila. z is equal to 3, x is equal to 3, and z is equal to 15. So, substitution dun sa ating formula. So, z is 3, x is 3, y is 15. So, next, 3 times 15 is 45 times k is 45k. Bring down 3. Divide both sides sa 45. So, 45k over 45, and then 3 over 45. And then, the lowest term ng 3 over 45 is 1 over 15. Divide both sides by 3 para makuha natin yung lowest term niya. So, ito nga siya, 1 over 15. So, next is, gagamitin natin si K para makanap yung isa pang unknown. So, ito na tayo. Second part. So, ang unknown sa pangalawa is si Z. Tama. So, ang given natin is X is equal to 6 and Y is equal to 9. So, dito, ang gagamitin natin is yung constant natin which is 1 over 15. So, Z is unknown. So, yung formula natin, same lang. Z is equal to K times XY. So, Z is equal to K, which is 1 over 15, times 6, times 9. Next, is 6 times 9 is 54. So, Z is equal to 54 over 15. And then, the lowest term of 54 over 15 is 18 over 5. Divide both sides by 3. So, if we divide both sides by 3, ang makukuha natin lowest term is Z is equal to 18 over 5. So, saan nga ba natin nakuha itong mga given na to? So, nakuha natin yan dun sa ating problem. So, yung unang value ng Z, X, and Y 
hahanapin natin si K. And then using K, nung sa ating pangalawang mga given ng Z, X, and Y, S, makahanap natin yung ating unknown. So example number 3, so ito is a real life situation about joint variation. So sabi dito, the area of triangle varies jointly as the base and the height. A triangle with the base of 8 cm and a height of 9 cm has an area of 36 square centimeters. Find the area when the base is 10 cm and the height is 7 cm. So, ang gagawin natin dito is using yung 8, yung 9, and yung 36 kasi sila yung unang given natin is kakanapin natin yung value ng K. So, based sa ating statement, ang sabi dito, the area of Triangle varies jointly as the base and the height. So, gagamit tayo ng mga letters para makagawa tayo ng ating formula. So, we will let A as the area, B as the base, and H as the height. So, based sa ating statement, ang makukuha natin formula is A is equal to K times B H. So, the area varies jointly as the base and the height. Next is substitution tayo using our given so, ito yung formula natin. A is 36, B is 8, and H is 9. So, 8 times 9 is 72. Next, divide both sides natin yung 72 para makancel. And then, 36 over 72. And the lowest term of 36 over 72 is 1 half. Divide both sides by 36. So, ito yung makukuha natin. So, K is equal to 1 half. Next step is using naman yung ating mga pangalawang given ng A, B, and H. Yung area, base, and height. So, dito is unknown yung ating area. And then, using our K na nakuha natin kanina, is makahanap natin yung unknown natin. Next is A. Bring down natin kasi unknown pa rin si A. K is 1 half. And then, B is 10. And then, H is 7. 10 times 7 is 70 times 1. 70 pa rin yan. And then, A is equal to 70 over 2. So, divide natin yan. Ang makuha natin is A is equal to 35. So, therefore, the area is 35 square centimeters. That ends our video lesson for today. Maraming maraming salamat. Keep safe and God bless.